Hello and welcome to another video. In this video I will show you how to use the best settings in Process Lasso for the best performance. Before the video starts please do remember when following this guide I am not responsible for any damages that may occur to your PC when you make these changes. I encourage and recommend creating a restore point of your PC or clone your operating system to another drive. Process Lasso is Windows process automation and optimization software. To download just search up Process Lasso and ensure it is from bitsum.com or click the download link in the description to access the official site. I am currently using the pro version of Process Lasso, and some of the settings I will be adjusting may only be available in this version. However, you can still follow along even if you don't have the pro version. I will also be using the beta build of Process Lasso. While it's not necessary to use the beta build you can just opt for the stable build instead, I chose the beta because it offers more features. Keep in mind that the beta version may be less stable. If you want to use the beta build, follow these steps. Go to the Updates tab in the top left corner. Enable the Include Betas option. Click on Check Now, which is also located in the Updates tab, to check for available updates. We are also going to create a backup for the default process lasso settings by going to File, then Export Entire Configuration. So if you want to revert all changes in process lasso then you can just load the backup without having to do a full restore using Restore Point. Now let's get on to adjusting the settings. In the upper left go to the Main menu. First, let's adjust the Active Power Profile setting. The active power profile allows you to change the power plan that your PC is currently using. You can think of it as navigating to the power plan settings in the control panel and selecting a power plan, it's essentially the same process. I recommend setting the power plan to ultimate performance. If you don't see the ultimate performance plan available, you can enable it by opening the command prompt CMD and typing the following command. Pro balance enabled. Pro Balance is a feature designed to enhance system responsiveness during high workloads. It uses an algorithm to dynamically adjust the priority of running processes, intelligently lowering the priority of background applications that may interfere with system performance. While this feature can effectively improve responsiveness when multiple applications are running, it does have some downsides. One drawback is that during times of high CPU usage, if you switch to another application, such as Discord, there can be a noticeable delay, making the app feel slower for a moment. This is because ProBalance reduces the priority of the application, which takes a moment to return to its normal level. Another issue is that some games do not perform well with ProBalance enabled, leading to random frame rate drops and stuttering during gameplay. I recommend that you disable this feature, but you can also test it to see what works best for you. If you often multitask, such as streaming or recording, I highly suggest disabling it, as it may interfere with those softwares or processes. Disable Smart Trim. Smart Trim is a RAM management feature that identifies background processes that are consuming a lot of memory. It then trims some of that memory from those processes to free it up. However, similar to the Pro Balance feature, Smart Trim can cause delays, making background applications feel slower, and does not perform well with some games. Therefore, I recommend turning it off or you can also test it out. If you do multitasking, streaming, or recording, it's best to disable Smart Trim. Disable Idle Saver Enabled When enabled Idle Saver adjusts the power plan to a more efficient setting, like the Power Saver plan when your PC is idle. Therefore, it's important to disable this feature. Keeping it disabled allows your CPU to remain more responsive and reduces latency, as it won't need to switch between performance and power saving modes. Performance Mode Enabled Enabling this will configure the PC to use the Performance Mode Power Profile, which we will set later on in the video. Next is the Options menu. Inside the General tab. Refresh Interval GUI. GUI Refresh Interval determines how often the program updates its display of process information. A lower refresh rate results in more frequent updates to the GUI, but it also increases CPU usage and resource consumption. According to the FAQ page of the software, the GUI uses negligible resources when minimized. When it is visible, it consumes a small amount of CPU resources to keep the display updated. To minimize CPU consumption you can set Refresh Interval GUI, to a longer interval. Refresh Interval Governor Governor Refresh Interval determines the speed at which changes to the settings are applied and adjusted. I recommend setting it to 2 seconds, as 5 seconds or more may be too extensive. Log Tab Make sure Logging Enabled is disabled. 
If you don't use the logging feature in the software it's best to disable it to reduce resource usage. CPU tab, Pro Balance, make sure, enable Pro Balance, is disabled. CPU priorities. Click CPU priorities to open the tab. To prioritize your game, first add your game's process name. Then, set the priority class to either above normal or high, and click add rule. This makes it that your game is prioritized by the CPU. If you're unsure how to find your game's process name, launch the game and open Process Lasso. Navigate to Active Processes, where you can locate your game's process name. Alternatively, you can right-click on the game process, go to CPU Priority, select Always, and it will be automatically added to the list. CPU Affinities. This tab allows you to adjust per process on what cores your game or processes will run on. I recommend leaving the settings as they are, since most games perform best and are more stable when all cores are enabled. However, some games may work better with a specific core disabled. If you want to tweak this setting, I highly suggest doing some research and watching a YouTube tutorial for guidance. CPU Sets Same with CPU Affinities I recommend leaving it or do research and watch a video on it if you want to tweak it. Dynamic Thread Priority Boost Dynamic Thread Priority Boost is a native feature of Windows that temporarily boosts the priority of threads when they wait to resume work. On default this is set to on with every process. You can add background processes to the list within the tab. With dynamic thread priority boosts turned off, this will help minimize CPU usage, freeing up more CPU resources leading to a more responsive experience. This makes the CPU not have to boost background applications when you alt-tab or switch between processes. You may want to include processes such as Chrome, Discord, Spotify, or any other applications that run in the background. However, I recommend against disabling or turning off Windows Thread Priority Boost for your games, recording software, or streaming software. Another thing, though highly not recommended due to potential system instabilities, is to disable the Windows Dynamic Thread Priority Boost for all system processes except for CSRSS.exe and DWM.exe. If you want an easier method to disable the Dynamic Thread Priority Boost for processes, right-click on the process, select CPU Priority, then always, and disable Windows Dynamic Thread Priority Boost enabled there. Foreground Boosting When enabled, this feature will increase the priority class of the process currently in the foreground. For example, if you're playing a game and decide to switch to Discord, Process Lasso will boost the CPU priority class to a higher level, such as above normal. While this can enhance the software's responsiveness, it may also increase CPU usage since the application receives more prioritization, resulting in potential input latency, stuttering, and FPS drops in the game. I suggest disabling this feature to prevent interference with the modifications we made regarding CPU priorities and dynamic thread priority boost. Memory tab. Make sure enable smart trim is disabled. Power tab. In the Performance Mode menu, select Power Profile, then choose Ultimate Performance. While still in the Performance Mode menu, navigate to Performance Mode Processes and add the process names of the games you play. This feature ensures that when you launch your game, it automatically utilizes the power plan you selected in Select Power Profile. A convenient way to add your games to the list is by launching your game, Right-clicking on it inside of Process Lasso, and selecting Induce Performance Mode. This will automatically add your game to Performance Mode Processes. Below is a feature called Enable Automatic Detection. If you turn this feature on, it will automatically add your Steam games by scanning your Steam installation path. However, this process may use some system resources. It is generally better to leave this feature off and manually add your games, as this will allow Process Lasso to use fewer PC resources. Return to the Performance Mode menu and enable Disable Idle Saver while Performance Mode is engaged. This will ensure that Idle Saver remains disabled during gaming. Back to the main Power tab hover on Start Process Lasso with Power Profile, choose Ultimate Performance for the best performance. IO tab 
To adjust the I.O. priority for your game, follow the same steps as we did for CPU priorities. First, add your game's process name, then set the I.O. priority to high and click Add Rule. I.O. from what I can find stands for Input and Output. Setting it to high can improve game performance and input responsiveness. However, this setting should be used with caution. And of course there is another easier way to add your game, in Process Lasso, locate the active process, right-click on it, go to I slash O priority, select Always, and then set it to High. Tools tab. Open System Timer Resolution. Enter a value of 0.500, then click Set. Next, enable Set at Every Boot and Apply Globally. Setting it to the lowest value of 0.500 enables the CPU for more frequent process updates and interrupts, which can enhance system responsiveness and reduce latency. The last two tweaks I'm going to show you may be a bit complicated. If you prefer not to manually adjust them through the registry or regedit, I've created a .reg or .bat file that you can download and run to apply the tweaks automatically. However, I recommend that you first create a backup of your registry file by following the instructions for the last two tweaks before applying them. Tweak Windows NT Scheduler. This setting is also known as Win32 Priority Separation. You might have encountered it in various registry tweaks, or commonly referred to as Processor Scheduling. You can find this option in the Windows settings by navigating to Control Panel, System, Advanced System Settings, Hardware, Performance, Advanced. Once there, you will see the Processor Scheduling option, which is what this setting modifies. To modify the settings in Tweak Windows NT Scheduler, the easiest and safest approach is to change the registry directly instead of adjusting the settings individually. This method can be less confusing for some users, as entering an incorrect or invalid value inside its menu could prevent your PC from booting properly. Before modifying the registry, we will create a backup of the specific setting so that you can revert it to the default later if you need to. First go to Run by pressing Windows key plus or then type regedit. Once Registry Editor is opened on the address path bar type HKEY underscore local underscore machine backslash system backslash control set 001 backslash control backslash priority control. You can copy and paste the path address in the description if you don't want to type it out. After you paste it and hit enter, you should find Win32 Priority Separation. If you can find it, then it means you are on the correct path. To make a backup click on File on the upper left corner. Then export and in export range, make sure selected branch is selected and the address path says HKEY underscore local underscore machine backslash system backslash control set 001 backslash control backslash priority control. I recommend you save the file in your desktop and name it scheduler default or scheduler backup. Back in the registry, double click on Win32 priority separation to edit the value. If you want higher frames per second, FPS, at the cost of some latency, set the value to 2A, hexadecimal. If you prefer less latency and a more responsive feel at the cost of some FPS, adjust the value to 28, hexadecimal. For a good balance between both, set it to 26, hexadecimal, which I highly recommend. After selecting a value that suits you, click OK. If you want to revert to your default value, just run the scheduler default.reg or scheduler backup.reg backup file we created. If you're interested in learning more about Win32 priority separation, check out the video link in the description. Tweak Multimedia Class Scheduler, or in Windows known as Multimedia Class Scheduler Service, MMCSS. This is a Windows service designed to ensure that multimedia applications receive prioritized access to CPU resources without completely starving lower priority background applications. We will follow the same process as with the Tweak Windows NT Scheduler by creating a backup and editing the settings in the registry. First go to the address path bar type. Computer backslash HKEY underscore local underscore machine backslash software backslash Microsoft backslash Windows NT backslash current version backslash multimedia backslash system profile. Then File and Export. Make sure Selected Branch is selected and the address path is Computer backslash HKEY underscore local underscore machine backslash software backslash Microsoft backslash Windows NT backslash current version backslash multimedia backslash system profile. Name it MMCSS default, then save it on your desktop. Back in the registry setting, you should see three D word values, network throttling index, no lazy mode, and system responsiveness. 
If you are missing a D word value you can right click, new D word, 32 bit, value. Then rename it to what value you are missing. Now for the values. Network throttling index to FFFFFFFF hexadecimal. No lazy mode to 1 hexadecimal. System responsiveness to 0 hexadecimal. I didn't make any changes to the individual profiles for MMCSS because doing so is dangerous and could potentially break your operating system and result in a black screen. However, I've provided a download link for the registry file, you can run it to implement the changes. Additionally, using the MMCSS default.reg backup we created will allow you to revert the changes made for, tweak Windows NT scheduler, including the ones I chose not to demonstrate which are the individual profiles. Last thing we're gonna do is edit your game's profile. To do this first you wanna launch your game. Then in the process lasso go to active processes and look for your game's process. Right click on it. Make sure the settings in the list shown are applied to your game. Note, you will need to do this manually with each game if you want the process lasso settings to be applied to it. After that, restart your PC, and you are done. I recommend playing some games to test if everything functions well. If you experience any issues, you can use your restore point backup to revert the settings or run the registry backup and uninstall process lasso. If you have any questions, please comment below. If you notice any incorrect information in the video, let me know so I can correct it.